So this is how I set things up last week when I was trying to force the split blade down to a precise and consistent thickness. And while it did work to get me through that project, it's just not a good solution and I think I have a better alternative. You see, with this system I have to make different spacers every time I want to press to a different thickness. And this takes way too much time, I would end up with way too many spacers over time and they also get in the way in this already small forging area. So, since this press uses valves to control the piston, I should be able to implement some kind of a limit switch. And now that you have an idea of how this works, let me show you what I want to make. Let's start with how the press is set up right now. We have a 24 volt power supply and two valves that of course need 24 volts and these open the flow of hydraulic fluid allowing the piston to move. The foot switches are placed here on the negative side and they are normally open momentary switches. So if I push one with my feet it closes the circuit activating one of the valve and moving the piston. Now the limit switch on the other hand is normally closed so as long as I don't press it the circuit is always closed. What I want to make is some kind of an adjustable stop mounted here on the top plate and on the bottom I will mount the switch so when the piston comes down the rod pushes the limit switch stopping the current going into the valve and therefore it should stop the piston as well. I think the limit switch can go anywhere here but I'll put it in series with the foot switch that controls the pressing movement. I'm planning to fit things on this side, so first thing first, let's make the adjustable rod that will set at what thickness the press stops. The way I'll be using this is, let's say, 
I want to press to the thickness of this wrench, I can put it between the dies, I can now set the adjustable rod so that it barely pushes on the limit switch. And we should now be able to press down only to that set thickness. And here you have it! Super happy that it works! It is nice and compact and it will for sure make my life easier whenever I want to forge something down to a precise thickness. And by the way, if you want to see more about this press at the end I will link to another video I made where I convert an old hydraulic press into the forging press that it is now. Thank you a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you on the next project. Bye!